Ace Whale, Cheyenne Tell Squeeth, Luce T. Tillamont Tell Whale McSqueeth. My name is Cheyenne. My traditional name is Luke T. Tillamont, which is Halt Kamalem, um, and it translates in English as Always Singing Woman. That name was gifted to me by my uncle in the Sweat Lodge. So, uh, Talito Kwa Squa. My family comes from Squa. I'm Stalo. I live in Chilliwack. Um, most of you probably know me from my beadwork on online, Cheyenne Spirit Creations. So I have a Facebook group, Cheyenne Spirit Creations. I'm also on Instagram, Cheyenne Spirit Creations. Um, I created a new business and I just started a TikTok account. So nothing's really happening with that yet, but it plenty of things to come in the future. So today I wanted to do a tutorial for beaded hats. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do these, so I figured it would be helpful for me to create this video tutorial so I could introduce myself to everybody and just have something to refer everybody to. So um, I do these Nike caps. I've done different kinds of caps. So this is the one I'm going to do today um, and just kind of explain everything that you, everybody will need. So I'll just flip my camera around and show you all the supplies that you'll need. Okay, I have to stop the video. So here are all the supplies that you're gonna need to bead a cap. Um, you're gonna pick out all your colors of beads. Um, these are the colors that I picked out. I'm using size 11 Toho's. I have some seed beads in there as well. You're gonna need thread, needle, obviously scissors. Um, and then this is very, very important. So this is called an owl. This is what we're gonna use to poke the hole through the bill of the hat. So it's quite hard to get your needle through. I started off by using pliers and it was really difficult. I mean, I did my first few that way, but this is gonna make your life so much easier. So um, I'll just flip the camera back around here. Hello everybody. So I have threaded my needle and I like to have a good size uh, thread so I don't have to switch it out as much when I'm doing the beaded ball cap. So I've made quite a long thread um, and then you do a knot at the end. When you get to that point where you're gonna put your thread through, I like to start from the bottom of the bill and I use the owl again. This makes it super easy to pass your needle through the bill of the hat. And then you just push down create your little hole and you put your needle through. So for the very first, um, for the very first one, I like to put it through from the bottom to the top and then I go down again and go up again just for the first one because um, sometimes, you know, th when you're pulling to tighten your beadwork, it can come apart um, if you haven't done that first. So I just do that for the first one just to make sure it's nice and, um, secure so your beadwork doesn't come apart on the first one. So you're going to want to measure how many beads it takes to wrap around. So you're wrapping the beads from the top of the hat to the bottom of the hat and then you go through and come back up again. You do that all the way around the hat. So it's you need a different um, number of beads depending on the size of bead that you're using. I'm using size 11 Toho's so I know that for me it takes 16 beads to go around when I'm doing the Nike ball caps. Sometimes it changes though, um, and it definitely changes when you're using different kinds of beads. So if you're just using seed beads, you might need a little bit less or a little bit more, again, depending on what size you're using. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do my first row. I'm gonna start with pink. So I'm gonna count out my 16 beads. So I've got 16 beads on there. Um, and then I'm gonna use my owl and poke a hole beside where my first hole was. And then another thing is you're gonna get used to how close you need to, you don't want it, you don't want the lines to be too close together because then they'll start to bunch. And you don't want them too far apart either. So um, it's definitely a process and you'll learn how many you need and where exactly you need to poke your hole. So for this one, I did two. I did 16 beads, but looking like there's too many. 
So yeah, sometimes it even, this doesn't work. I'm just gonna break a bead here. There we go. And that works perfect. So yeah, it's not always the same every time you do it. So I've done my first little line here, and then I'm just gonna continue doing that all the way around the hat. For me, I'm just alternating colors, so I'm just doing um, more of a simple pattern. So I'll do my second line. And then again, so we fo we're following the seam of the hat and that helps us keep our beadwork straight. That is the line that we're following and we're poking our hole. For me, I start, I poke the hole from the bottom because it's easier for me to poke with my owl. I just follow the seam and then I poke it right beside where I did the first row. So I, I find it's easier to poke the hole from the bottom down because you can just, against the table, just push it through, create your little hole along the seam and then it makes it super easy for you to put the needle through. So you put the needle through. So easy to put the needle through with owl. You can just push it and pull it. When I first started, I was using pliers and a friend of mine um, recommended using an owl. I tried using a T-pin and it didn't work for me. Um, and then I used the owl and it was total game changer for me. There's my second row and then you just do that all the way around the the brim of the cap so another thing is that uh, if you want to do something where you need it to be symmetrical on both sides it's good to start from the middle of the hat because that helps you keep it symmetrical on both sides for this design i'm just doing something really simple so i'm not going to start from the middle for me it's always easier to start from the side of the cap but for other I'll show you an example of another hat that I've done. Um, I wanted it to be symmetrical on both sides. So I started from the, the middle of the cap and then you just do the same on both sides. So yeah, so that there's an example of something I've done. Um, and then this one is just some, something a little bit more simple. Um, you can also use graph paper if you wanna work out something to design. So for these hats, I find it's always seven beads that go on the top and seven on the bottom. So you can use graph paper and figure out like a cool design. Um, and I hope this was helpful for everybody. And please do share um, any beadwork that you were able to create. If this video was helpful for you and tag me in it, um, follow me on Instagram, Cheyenne Spirit Creations. Um, find my Facebook group, Cheyenne Spirit Creations. Um, and I'm on TikTok. Nothing's happening there yet, but I'm going to get going on that as well. Thank you, everybody. Kwasai.